Hello, my Disney fans. My name is Mickey Fan 1909, and I'm back with my good friend Oliver Featherwing. Hello. We are, and uh, today, we are back to the final part of Let's Play Back to the Future, the game. Maybe so far, in final time. The final part. Upload. Uh, um, pff, up. <laughs> Oh dear. Please excuse my tongue twist, guys. A final part, along with the others, that we, along with the others we made for the thirty-fifth anniversary of Back to the Future. So, happy Back to the Future Day, guys! Yeah. Um, now, the last time we discovered what happened to Hill Valley. Yeah. Edna Strickland set the fire to Beauregard's half-finished saloon, and and the fire ac accidentally spread all over Hill Valley, burning it to the ground. And because there was no fire brigade around that time, I wonder how many deaths. Lots, I say, because I can't count. Anyway, we got to stop Edna. Now there he is. That speaking of um, Beauregard, there he is. There he is. Oh God, sleeping on the job. Not a good night guard, if I must say, but good enough for, but good enough to sneak in. Oh, squeaky small small ball. There she is. There she is. Who's there? Edna, stop. It, it's just me. Mr. Sagan, what are you doing here? I was going to ask you the He's same awake. question, Miss Pickford. Isn't it obvious? Pickford? I'm putting an end to your yeah, den of iniquity Pickford. before it starts. That's a fake I don't name. think so, Mary. Oh. I don't like shooting women, but no one comes between Beauregard v. Tannen and his livelihood. Tannen, stop! You shoot her, she'll drop the torch, and this whole place will burn up. Ooh, and us stop. If you drop Wait. the torch, he'll shoot us. That Looks gun. like we're at something of a standoff here, Mr. Do Cannon. you think? I don't yeah. see a way out unless somebody manages to disarm this on both of you at the oh, yeah. same time. How the hell am I supposed to do that? Well, we gotta, we gotta disarm both of them somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw. I fit, let's go to the top. See if we can do anything. There's a Let's ladder there. Ladder. Sandbags. Sandbags. Yes, that's what we need. Let's put them on there. In that little ramp. Yeah. <laughs> little lifting. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's... Yeah. Now, now, we just now for the last. One. There's the last one. Oh. Oh. It's right over his head, but I can't knock him out while Edna's still holding that torch. We gotta dispose of the torch somehow. Um, what kind of I think I... Can you give me that I can disarm you? I... What about those barrels I saw earlier? We could, could, could we go down about the thing? the same odds that you can walk out of here without getting a shot to the gut, stranger. Well, elevator going. Not mm. quite. No. Though. Those barrels on the um thing. What are they? You no, know, there's a pickle juice pickle jar. Pickle juice. That ought to be handy for putting out torches. Pickle juice. It's too heavy to lift. Well, what about these? I wonder what's in these. No, oh, stop quiet. God. What the hell? Oh, cow crap. There goes all my pickled pig's feet. A hundred years oh. from now, Hill Valley will erect so a statue in my honor. Pigs. If you go through with this, there won't be a Hill Valley. A hundred minutes from now. So, Bill yeah. owns the pigs, I guess. Ah. Now we can go down. And then we down. Going down. Take two. Looks like your torch is getting a little dim there, Miss Pickford. It's still hot enough to bring down this little bit of Gomorrah, Tannen. Oh yeah, sandbag. 
Onto the pallet. <laughs> yes. There we go. All right, physics. Now I think we go back up and jiggle, jiggle the. What? Um, yes, for sure. Right, just give it a good pull. There we go. Uh oh. Stand. What was that noise? What noise? I didn't hear a noise. Let's go We're down gonna... and um, yeah. We're gonna move that pillar out of the way. Yeah. The... Look at those floorboards. The loose floorboards, yes. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay, that was lucky. Won't be long now. We'll just see. Say, that's now we gotta get back up. Chandelier you've got there, Cannon. <laughs> now we gotta get back up. Yeah, yeah, and try and get that sandbag. Yes. Come on. Got any last words? I'll see you in hell, Tannen. You first, lady. No! Well, at least, well, you well, at least he did a gentleman's code thing there. Ha! Gotcha! Oh, yes! Who the hell are you? I'm the diversion, butthead. Ooh! God! Right in the kisser! Nice one, Doc. Don't tell Clara. She thinks Fistikov set a bad example for the boys. Now, Wait. where's Edna? Doc, she's gone. Oh no! The uh, DeLorean! Edna's DeLorean! We gotta stop her before she hits any more power! Come on! Come on, let's stop her! Okay, Edna, nothing to be worried about. You're a smart woman with a strong moral compass. Well, at least she you doesn't find the fly button. The... Oh, fudge! Yeah. Well, what's she doing? I think she's spouting euphemisms at us. Luckily, the road out of Hill Valley is still pretty rough in 1875. It's unlikely she'll manage to accelerate 88 miles an hour anytime soon. How are we going to stop her? Good question. We can't risk injuring her or damaging the vehicle for fear of altering the timeline even further. Luckily, those diagnostic lights might alter itself, but all over the lawyer have given me an idea. Here, take these. Satellites? Flux signalization. Flux signalization. How do they work? I generally use them for maintenance purposes. We might be able to use them to sync up with the alternate droids' diagnostic modules, thus making it possible to link both sets of time streams and override the time destination of the alternate droid. At least that's the theory, anyway. That's a great plan, I think. Best of all, we won't need well the modules to move. Them I don't know. Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to go out there? How the heck am I supposed to do that? Good question. Aha! Wait. What? The hoverboard! It saved our hides a few times before, so it seemed like the appropriate tool to bring along for the job. I got my little Sweet. hoverboard here. Right in front of me. My Lego one. Of course. Yes! That's just what we needed. Good. Still works. You okay? Great. It's just like riding a bike. Ready Wait. to make the jump? Ready, Doc. One, two, three, jump. Go. Yeah. We got on. Nice form, buddy. Out to reception on the wireless. Great. Where'd you get these? Confirmed cash on 21st century video game consoles. Now remember, all you've got to do is attach the functioning modules to those diagnostic lights. Will do, Doc. Right. So we're going to attach the lights. Yeah, let's go to the front. Yeah. It's locked. Hmm. Right. To the front. To the front bumper. Is this now, the Star Wars flux emitter? Yes. Now plug in the fuck sink. Right. Plug in. In it is. All right. Now you got to aim it now. This is the no. tricky part of the game. Oh, yes. I'll try, but it's getting a little bumpy out here. Use the arrow keys, Mickey. We can do this. We 
Yes! Go, well, Bobby, get that's one done. One down. Two to go. Oh. Whoa! Sticky it down. Great, that's one block sink down. Well, let's go to the other side. Right. Okay, okay, steady, steady, steady. Uh oh, oh. she's speeding up. Oh no! Totally she's gonna run me! Whoa! Well, her mirror is damaged, so she can't see us when we go that way. Mr. Fusion! Oh god. The wind mirror! Grab That's the wind mirror! Okay. Oh, no. Got it. Well, now we can use it. Now we can go around the other side. No, no, not that side, Mickey. The uh, back way. Because you're trying to ram us again. Not bad. It's locked. He's dead. He does it. Now the other side. Dead. He does it, Molly. It's locked. Hey, She's been making it easy up till now. Hmm. Now snap it in. Snap it in, Mickey. Well, here goes nothing, Doc. In the tears. Whoa. Perfect. Now, aim the fuck thing towards the receiving dish on my door. Receiving dish. Receiving dish. Uh, check. Oh, there you go, that's two done. One, one to go. That's right. And it's up on the top. Whoa, I said it. We're almost home, Marty. Just one block thing left. Get off my car, you hooligan. No. Never. It's go to the front and we, and we distract Edna. Touch it now that it sinks. Edna, what? Hey, you want in? Fine. Uh, Whoa. Fine. Right, that's one. Marty, are you alright? Bang, really. bang on the door. Bang on the. Get. I can't reach it while the window's shut. Distract Edna. Yes. Now we can. Whoa, whoa. Uh, Leo? Yes! We made it! it. Now this is a difficult one. This is time we're upside down. Oh, yes. That's great, Doc. Now for the last one. Yes, indeed, Oliver. Nicely done. Now, aim the thing toward the receiving dish. Right, got it. Okay. Now it's upside down. Now it's going to be tricky. Come on. Come on! Yes! Got it! That's all now three of them! No, I need to get out of there now! Get out of there, buddy! Just get out of here now! Yeah. Oh! oh. 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 Do, do, do. <laughs> I love that! I love that scene when they do that in that music. Yeah. yeah. Now we take control of that and throw him with the flux synchronizers. That's strange. What is it? What? According to these readings, the temporal cohesion on Edna's DeLorean is decaying at an alarming rate. English, Doc. Erasing. We've got to get Edna home. Now. Oh, God. We're well, going to get her home. Right, back to, um, back to the 80s. No, no, no 30s. 30s. I meant 30s, oh. I meant. Sorry. 
hold on tight because here we go! Straight into the police station. Yeah. Is Danny? Yep, everything's back. Parker? Then I must be back in... Would you be kind enough to tell me what day it is? It's the day I place you under arrest for arson, resisting arrest, and being a general all-round pain in the what? ass. No! Good. You can't arrest me. Not now. I just got back from the no, last century. Well, let's again. Look at that. Edna Strickland, drunk as a skunk. I'm not drunk, you reprobate. I'm a time traveler. <laughs> sure you are. Oh, he doesn't believe them. this. I I'll prove it to you. Come with me. We can do the whole day over if you want. We can fix everything. We can start by drying you out. Come on, into the station with you. You can bunk There's with me. There's right. Oh. I'd rather die. Oh. Stop it. Unhand me, you dolt. Yeah. <laughs> well, I Good guess that's it for Yes, I suppose it is. You know, whoever said time heals all wounds didn't know squat about time travel. What do we do about that, DeLorean? No need to do a thing. Ever since we synced up the time circuits, the temporal breakdown in Edna's DeLorean has accelerated at an exponential rate. By my calculations, the timeline should catch up with it in five, four, three, two, one, now! No! Oh, what the hell? Hey, Parker, you're not gonna believe this! See? what I say? Ready to go home? Wait, Doc! The timeline's not fixed yet. Look! Trixie! Sonny! You missed all the fireworks at the expo. Yeah, so I heard. Listen, I heard a rumor about you two. I guess we gotta come clean. Ta-da! Hardy took me to Reno last night! Try to keep a secret in Hill Valley! <laughs> well, you're gonna congratulate us or what? Then it's true. My grandpa's married the wrong grandma. I'm done for. Hey, you feeling alright, kid? You don't look so hot. This just isn't right. <laughs> Now I know marrying a Canadian for a work permit isn't strictly by the book, but hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love. <sighs> isn't he just the sweetest? That's what George McFly just said. Yeah. She's with the wrong woman. Artie, you can't do this. You're not supposed to get married for another five years. Well, I know Trixie and I were taking things slow. But after that witch Edna got me fired with that postcard, we kind of accelerated things a little. The postcard? Oh, man. Can you see through me? Nope. Never could figure you out. I thought you'd be thrilled for us. You don't understand. You're supposed to marry Sylvia Miskin. But I did marry Sylvia Miskin! Huh? What? Oh. You didn't think my real name was Trixie Trotta, did ya? Don't feel too Sorry. bad. It was kind of a surprise to me, too. Wait a minute, your Grandma Sylvie? Grandma? Hey, how old do you think I am, kiddo? Uh, but you're so... so skinny and blonde and... Huh. Yeah, you know, it's I amazing think... what oh my like god, you as a I've seen you naked. You're... Sylvia? Huh. You okay, so pal? Yeah, I'm fine. Great. You kids go off and have yourself a wonderful honeymoon. And don't worry about your dad, Artie. I'm sure he'll come around. Speak of the, the devil. Come around to what? Um, to approving your marriage. You seem kind of mad about it back at the high school. Oh, that was before I got a look at her. Besides, as my dear old father Seamus used to say, Oh, good old Seamus no McFly. up over something I can't do nothing yep. about. And honestly, now that I met her, I can't imagine a better daughter-in-law than the charming Miss Sylvie here. Aw, thank you, Dad. As for you, stranger, I'll thank you to not go poking your nose in McFly family business. All right then. It's been a pleasure, Agent Crockett. See you in the funny paper, Sonny. Off they go. Bye, Grandma. 
You know, I took some pictures of chicks in now? 1931. Now? That's my grandma you're yeah. talking about. Let's go home. To 1986. Oh, look at the sail still on. Oh, yeah, the sail. Here we are, back in good old 1986. May 14th? 15th. Best to build in a little lag time. Gives you a chance to catch up. Looks like the estate sale is still going on. Hey, don't you want to stay, Doc? You got to stop the bank from selling off all your old stuff. Yeah, we got to stop the sale. What are you talking about? Estate sale? Bank? I'm not dead, Marty. Clara and I are having a little garage sale, that's all. Oh, garage what? sale? You mean... Marty, you're back from your trip. Hello, Doc. Selling off the family treasures, eh? Uh, not quite, but I hope you find something you like. Speaking of which, did you find what you were looking for? Yeah, yeah we did. I sure did. Great! Hey, is that a box of Asimov? So, Asimov? Let me get this straight. Are you telling me you live here now? In 1986? Well, naturally. Claire and I maintain a part-time residence here. Wasn't that the case when you left? No. No. Strange. I can't imagine not sticking around. After all, I've got my late father's foundation to supervise. If I wasn't here, who'd present the annual Earhart Brown Scholarship for Young Scientists? <laughs> <laughs> Something funny? I'll explain it to you later. I don't see what's so funny about looking after a family legacy. Oh, almost forgot. I've got something for you. Ooh, what is it? Oh. Happy graduation. Graduation? graduation? But that's not for another. The McFlies of Hill Valley. An exhaustively detailed history of your family. From your great great grandfather Seamus to the present. You traveled through time to write this? Well, most of the research was done traditionally, but your grandma Sylvia proved to be something of a mystery. Which is why you traveled back to 1931 uh, to look for her. Exactly. Who knew she was singing in a speakeasy? She was a stage was name. Sylvia stage name. This is great, Doc. Oh. Thanks. Uh, it's the least I can do for the man who saved me from making the worst mistake of my life. Yoo-hoo! Dr. Uh Brown! <laughs> Edna? Edna? Einstein? What's going on? What are you doing on my door? The same thing I do every afternoon, silly man. Giving him such much needed exercise. Uh, Isn't that right, Einstein? Since when? Hey, dollface, it's past time what? for our 3.30. Coming, sweetie! Oh, Mr. Oh, McFly, not the have you seen my stepson uh, anywhere? Uh, Oh, Biff, I think you're late for an appointment. Oh, gosh, you're right, Mr. McFly. I love Hi, us. Don't they make a great little family? No. You'd never know they met in prison. But they did. Don't say anything. Let's just walk yeah. quietly into the lab and hope there are no more surprises. Yeah. Good idea, Doc. Yeah, and um, cool. That was an easy ending. Yep. Yeah. So now what? Wait, wait, what? What? What, what the? Another I'm the warrior. Marty. Doc. Marty. Marty. What are you doing here? You gotta come with me. Back to the future. Marty, you can't be here. If your younger self sees you, the consequences could be catastrophic. My younger self? Oh, right. Bring him along, too. This concerns all of us. What do you mean? What? Does something happen to us? Do we uh, uh, assholes or something? Nah, we're fine. But our great-great-grandkids? <laughs> what the hell? What? 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 A blue devil! Oh, that's a color. Oh. Doc, Marty! You come back with me. Back I with the Marty. Doc. It's me you gotta help. If you want to save Jennifer and our 12 kids. What? 12 kids? Five what? Jumps back. Is it... ah, how can there be two more of me here? I have no idea. I don't like the space time. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Cheap dish rack right now. It already is. What my evil twin and I are trying to say is... A blank to the wheel? Jacked up. And you gotta come with me to save it. No, me. 
Another Marty. So, we meet at last. Oh dear. I altered my timeline once too often. What's going on, Doc? Even they're from different well, universes. You seem to have a conundrum on our hands, or three. Yeah, Doc, but which one is the real me? Isn't it obvious, Marty? Come on. Oh, here we go. Prepare to be erased. Doc, wait. What about the space-time continuum? Yeah, what about my future? And mine? The future can wait. We've got a present to catch up with. Already. Yep. Now this scene looks strangely familiar. Yes, it does. From, from the first movie. Yes, indeed. Happy Back to the Future Day! Hey! And that is it! Yeah! Back to the Future, the game, episode 5, Out of Time. Yeah! Woo! What a journey! You're telling me! A journey, a journey through all five games of Back to the Future. Yeah! Just to celebrate 35 years. Since yeah. Back to the Future, the film came out. Yeah. Honestly, I really enjoyed playing those games. I really did. Yeah. Yeah, so did I. Talking yeah. of Back to the Future, we we do have some Back to the Future items, don't yes, we, we Mickey? Did. Yes, we did actually. Yeah. I have got Lego Dimension Back to the Future stuff. What have you got? Just my Lego custom Back to the Future figures made by me. Yeah, and you got a DeLorean as well. And a DeLorean, yes. I have a Lego Dimensions time travel chain and a DeLorean, and I have. You're going to be jealous of me, Mickey. Yeah, go on. I've got. Uh, you know those, um, uh, before I say it, you know those autographic photographs, you know? Like, I've got Lauren Hardy's autograph, I've got Tom Baker's autograph, Tom Baker's autograph. You know, like, they're in their picture frames yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I've got Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox. You did it. I have. You're lucky. In the picture. In the picture frame thing. Yeah. Yeah, I oh, know. <laughs> I don't. Well, I don't have a lot, really. Just a few. Yeah, I've got about. Hang on, I've got one. I'm just counting them. I've got one. Hang on, where's the others? I put them right. Two, three, four, five. The autograph, six. I've got six things back to the futures. Six? Yeah, I've got, I've got Mike McFly, Doc Brown, the Hoverboard, the DeLorean, the Time Travelling Train, and the autograph. Damn. And you got three, I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah. The figure, figures and the, and, the, and the DeLorean. All scratch built. Yeah. <sighs> so, which game do you want to play next after this, Mickey? To be honest, though, I don't know. I know we still got Papers Please to continue with. Yeah, I think you might. And we did discuss that off camera. Yeah. Because Ivy, if you can have another go of um, restarting the day, and if you like get get arrested again, you have to start all over again, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. Right. Well, to be continued. I don't think but so. where? Where? But where's the next game? Not gonna happen, I'm afraid. Hmm. Yeah, sadly. 
And there we go. We've done it. So yeah. That was... So yeah, guys. That was... Back to the Future, the game trilogies. Yeah. My god, it's, it has been some journey. All the way yeah. up to the anniversary. But I say these games are well worth playing. For a Let's yeah. Play. For for this, for this special occasion. Yeah. The Back to the Future movie. Yes. So if you enjoyed... If you enjoyed this video, guys, well, actually, before I end it here, but, I mean, yeah. Yeah, these games, I really enjoy playing these games. So do I. If Gareth was here right now, I'm pretty sure he would enjoy he would enjoy the ending with us. Yeah. But three DeLoreans and three Martys. Yeah. But well, I like the blue one, though. That's not a shade of colour. Yeah. And there's the black I know one. A well. I know a certain Pegasus who might like that blue. Yeah, but we're not going to go into details of that anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just saying a certain, certain some pony I know. Oh, I thought... Uh, never mind. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess that's... I guess we're now going to end it here. So, that's yeah. Back to the Future, the game, episode 5. Yeah. And, and that is Back to the Future, the game trilogy's overall. If you all, all enjoy... If you all enjoy this video, as well as the others, then be sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, Turn the notifications bell on. Go subscribe to Oliver Featherweight's channel and check out his greatest cotton. And we wish you all, guy, and we wish you guys a happy Friday and a very happy Back to the Future Day. Yes. So until next time, guys. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. Goodbye. Bye bye, everyone.